Frank, congratulations, a big result here at the Abbey. Um, what did you think of the team's performance? It was good, obviously. Um, you know, it's been back to back wins to put them together, it's nice. Um, it's something that we needed to do. Um, probably a few few weeks ago would have been a, a lot better. But yeah, you know, it's all we can do now. Um, you sort of pick up and, and sort of deal with the hand that we, we, we dealt with and try and put the, put the best performances we can on to get the results we need. And oh, we've done that the last two games, but it's important that we keep, keep focused, keep realistic, and um, look forward to the next games and get the same results. Yeah, it's not been the easiest start to your time here in terms of the team's results overall, but have you been able to sense something different in the team recently and picking up these results? I don't think different, to be honest with you. It's like, I mean, since I've been here, it's, I'd, I would say there's two games when we're categorically out of them, you know, when we got played off the pitch, really. Other than that, we've been in a lot of games, you know, that's had enough chances in some of them, um, and obviously we conceded a, a few as well in terms of we're losing 1 0 to all these little games. But we've had chances, um, we've had enough games to sort of get the results, and then I think fortunately now it's just, you know, it's turned a little bit, you know, we get, we get that little bit of luck, you know, um, and we get them goals, and that's, that's, that's ultimately what's going to make us survive. And with, those, with that luck and those goals, does that breed confidence? Does that make a difference in the way the players play on the pitch? It does. I mean, it's a good group of players. You know, it's a good group of honest players um, with some talent in there as well. And you know, it's easy to say, but on the training ground, you know, lads are working hard. Out there, lads are working hard. And I know sometimes it's frustrating, and it's frustrating for us as well. But you know, results haven't been there. And um, I think, you know, ultimately we've got our reward a little bit for that, and keep believing. And it has been tough, you know. And I think it's important that we sort of realise that, you know, and keep going. And there might be days when we're you know, a bit under the weather or a bit, a bit sort of, you know, underperforming. But we know that we'll have days like today if we put it all together, and that's the most important thing. We've got a few games left now, and hopefully we can get results we need and push on and just and do what we need to do to survive. Still, obviously, a long way to go, but these two results, what they've done, they've really sort of put us back into the mix, haven't they? They've given us a bit of hope, and I'm sure a lot of belief in the in the camp that this can be done. It has, yeah. I mean, as I said before, you know, there's, there's been there's been hope within that. I know it's again, it's easy to say now, but. You know, in, in there, the lads' heads have never sort of dropped. You know, there's been times when it's been tough. I won't, won't lie, but you know, when you look at it and we look at results and we look at performances that, that are there sometimes on the results that haven't gone our way, you know, it's not been far away. And I know, like as I said a minute ago, from the outside, it doesn't look like that sometimes. But you know, we felt that within, and I think ultimately the last two games have just been a fair reflection on the effort the lads have put.